Come here, this shit, or, or this shit's not gonna end, my nigga. Or this shit's not gonna end. Apologize, bro. Apologize, bro. Or you know, or you know what's going on. Apologize, my nigga. Apologize, nigga. I got you, bro. Apologize, nigga. I got you, man. Say sorry, nigga. My bad for this Say side, sorry, G. nigga. Sorry, G. All right, bet. I got you, G. Alright. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zarish. Here on my vlog page covering particular breakdowns of beats and all that. So, Dax got ran up on. You see his chest. He that breathe in. Breathe in. He looked like he was on You Got Served. Alright. I'm here to be able to break down just certain key elements so that you understand a little bit more of what's going on from an actual standpoint. And not from one of them hype ass, I would have did this, this, and that type niggas, man. Because that's called hindsight bias. When someone does that, they're like, I would have did this, this, and that in this situation. It's called a hindsight bias. Where you talk about what you can do, but you're not putting that moment. All right? So, Dax makes a diss song. Going at Tory Lanez. I heard it. I reacted to it and all that. I'm hearing some of the bars and all that. I'm like, okay. This is surface level dissing. It's a... Hey, man, I'm just trying to challenge you. But by me challenging you, I'm showing off my skills. If you respond back to me, then you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go to war, all right? Tory? That nigga said, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. He was mad as a motherfucker. He was mad as hell. So, he essentially sits there, and instead of rap beefing him back, he just goes and says, fuck it. I'm pulling up on this nigga, all right? You hear Dex, and here's the newer facts that's coming out. Apparently, he was at a show. He tagged where he was at. I guess Dex was thinking it was friendly shit and all that, but you, you got to watch how you move, all right? Especially if you dolo. And I know in Cali and all that, or whatever, you can't have a hammer on you. You can't have a thing on you, so... It's a little bit different to maneuver if it's just by you. Unless you plan on fighting a whole bunch of niggas. All right? So, with him doing that, I'm sitting there like, all right, okay. What what are the new facts? New facts. Apparently, he said during the middle of the show, we just hear some commotion and all that. As you probably perform, he's in there hype as shit. That's like six foot two. This nigga athletic as shit. He probably bounced around going crazy. Then next thing you know, you're like, oh, shit, nigga's trying to punch me. Your adrenaline's already up because you're performing. Then nigga's trying to punch you. like, oh, what the fuck? I was there for the hoes. So now the hoes, they are gone. The hoes have dipped. It's just you, my nigga. And a whole bunch of other angry ass niggas trying to fight you. So he flee. Gone. This nigga, I don't know what Tori was doing. It was like, I guess it was like a Grand Theft Auto mission. He was sitting there, quick, Tori, get to the car. And then they had the little arrow pointing down to get in the right fucking car and got into it. They whipped him towards Dax, caught up with him. And he forced him to apologize. Now, if you truly break this down in the heat of the moment, you're like, what the fuck? By him sitting there and being like, and kind of like doing with his eyes, like, it wasn't like he was just focused on Tory. He was focused. Let me see if I can pull this up so you can see it, all right? It didn't seem like he was just focused on Tory. He may be looking in a direction where the camera's pointed. Look at this. Oh, you know, you know what's going on. Apologize, my nigga. Apologize, nigga. I got you, bro. Apologize, nigga. I got you, man. There. There's. Allegedly. Allegedly. There's some in that car. Alright. It's either some big ass niggas. Or, or. Or. It's something in the car. You know what I'm saying? Read between the lines of what I'm saying. So. While you see the camera, it's like, oh, Apologize. There might be one nigga sitting there with it tucked, just sitting there like. Now, from this standpoint, you would think logically like, this, this motherfucker ain't gonna do shit to me. All these damn cars around, big soldier. Fuck wrong with you, flex. But when your brain's not fully working, you just ran, you were just performing. Like you're like, all right, what the hell? What's going on? You're not fully thinking properly. So, from his standpoint. He doesn't know what to do. Dax doesn't portray himself as gangster. He's not, he not hood. He's not like, yo, fuck y'all. Y'all niggas just gonna have to jump me. He's like, hey, let me think of what I gotta do. Let me get out of this situation that's going on. I can take a loss. 
I'm not a gangster rapper. It'd be different if you were a gangster rapper and then somebody press you like that. They're going to test your credibility unless you were just very good at speaking and being able to get your way out of the situation. All right. The only problem I don't think that Tory truly conceptualized to understand was by pressing somebody who's not a gangster rapper who promotes motivational stuff. It backfires on you because that person is, is, is being nice. He's a nice person. Uh, music wise and uh, what he's trying to do and all that. He's a nice person. So in turn, you're really just kind of giving him a free collab. And I said in my other video, that's a free collab. About to be like, yeah, apologize, nigga. Hey, apologize to my phone. He could have just been like, hey, man, nah, you won't fucking apologize. You won't know what's up. Like, take that shit down. He could have went that route. Like, take all that shit down. Take it the fuck down right now, nigga. And then it disappeared. And niggas be like, yo, Dax, why'd you take it down? And he'd have to live with that knowing, like, you know, can I tell my fans that, you know, he pressed me and all that? That would have probably went a different course. But by doing that and chasing someone down and then being in the car and having your phone out there, like, you better podcast. These niggas ain't taking that serious. So I'm looking through all his comments. I'm checking them shits. I'm going on Instagram and all that. What do I see? You corny for that, Tory. You trash for that. No, you garbage. You like, you like they, nobody is siding with them. I even seen Gilbert Arenas like, man, it takes a better man to do all that. And this is a nigga who got busted with guns. <laughs> so for him to say that, that shows growth on his part, but that's just like realistically like, yeah, cool. You want to be a gangster nigga? Cool. Are you able to be gangster at any moment? Are you going to get jumped by multiple niggas in a whip? You know they pay security or they hom his homies on the payroll, allegedly. You gonna take that ass whooping? Niggas talk that, that big shit. You be with your boys and all that. But when it's just you, are you willing to take that ass whooping? A motherfucker's beating your fucking head in. Alright? Some of y'all, man, I don't give a shit, man. Toy 5'7". I don't care. For someone 5'7", and then you got one of your homies, he's 6'5", and whatnot. You on the ground, that 5'7 person... He gonna be getting them kicks off a lot quicker than that long leg motherfucker said. That's six foot five. He can be like, da, 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 da. it's gonna sound like Dragon Ball Z in your on your fucking face. You just ugh, getting stomped in. All right. How do I feel? Do I feel like Dax lost in this? No, I don't. He didn't. His all his stuff went up. You instead of you beating him, you just you helped him, Tori. You actually really helped him because now people were looking at you like, oh, Tori's doing this. He's He's got the W. He's walking around like nobody's trying to fuck with him. They can't mess with him. Now by doing this, you kind of become a heel, as opposed as opposed to the face of rap. You you, you become the heel, and everyone's just sitting there like, uh, Tori, I can't really support him on this one. Oh, he's and and the main thing that's used against is like, hey, you called out everybody, then someone raps against you, and now you're sitting there being sensitive over it, but. To shoot Tory Bell, I can understand because when you go against an actual rapper, they have their fans and they might come at you. But if you go against a YouTuber, their fans came off of YouTube. So what's going to happen to you? You're going to get a whole bunch of, oh, yeah, you're too pussy to respond back to Dex. Oh, not smart enough. Vote. Like, they'll start coming for your head. And you could love this artist, all right? You could love, you could be like, man, I, I appreciate this artist. I, you know, I respect him. But if you have 1,000 to maybe 10,000 of the fans commenting and just calling your intellect out and just saying how stupid you are and how worthless you are, and that's all you see, and you're like, who the f he, this person sent them to me. Like, oh, he think this shit's sweet. You start thinking delusional and all that, all right? Trust me, I felt the same with, with uh, Ariana, like the fans on that. I'm like, yo, it, it makes you just start to dislike certain artists, even though you're like, man, I, I, I fuck with the music. It's good and all that, but... I get what Tory is, how he might feel on it. So, regardless, at the end of the day, I hope that they come together, get a pitch together, be like, man, it was stupid. Like, Dax is seeming like he's moved past it. He was, he spoke to academics. He didn't really want to get the details, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was trying to be like, oh, he did this. He was just trying to move past it, like, eh, whatever. Sometimes you got to take a loss, all right? Sometimes you got to take a loss and know what's up, man. I've had five niggas up, like, near me, like, for of, of something that wasn't even mine. See this big tall ass nigga, he was six foot fucking eight. This nigga's hands was bigger than me. And I'm I'm 
I say I'm five foot one. I'm six one, two hundred and eight pounds. All right, or it might be one ninety seven. I've been cutting weight. To see someone six foot eight, massive hands, like, and then next to them was four other of these big ass niggas. You can, yeah, I could be sitting there, but I'm getting like, if you don't have to use violence, don't use violence. You can sit there and say, oh, but. No, that's pussy. No. no, you don't have to use violence. If you have to resort to winning with violence, you have lost. That is the th that's the consensus of everything. That's what Martin Luther King was trying to push the people to say. If you have to use violence, you have lost. You lose. You, you you're sitting one, you're facing jail. You're facing jail, prison, whatever, depending on how bad you fuck them up. You're facing something negative instead of being able to come together as men and speak to each other. That's what I had to learn later on. Early on me, eh, a little wild. But as you get older, it's like, man, you don't have to resolve shit with violence. It's not necessary all the time. Sometimes you could just have a talk, and then it's like, okay, well, you were feeling this way. I was feeling that way. Because remember this. Every bad guy has some kind of logical thought for the bad actions that people interpret it. All right? Always remember that. Even though in my, you're like, what the hell? Like, that's crazy. In their mind, they're justifying it for some reason. So hopefully they come together. How do you feel on it? Did did Dax lose? Did Tory take L? What what's going on over there in the non light skinned nigga community? <laughs> Put me on game with that. If you like this, you want more, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, peace.